Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, it's Reggae and welcome back to Evangelion. There was a time where I thought I would never be able to get back to this, but we're here. Thanks to some fortunate events after some very unfortunate events. But I'm sure you're here for Battle Cats. Gendo and Fuyutsuki are. Look how excited they are. Actually, Gendo's predicted how I've managed to get out of my bad technological situation. I have some catching up to do because I've not been around for a while and I assume the collab is not long for this world. We have 10th Angel Strikes to do and Decisive Battle 4 Star. Crikey, I should probably do 10th Angel Strikes. It's going to have been a year, right, since I last did Evangelion, so it's definitely not going to have my previous winning slot in there. So what I'll do is just bring with me slot 3, because there's two Avas in that anyway, and we'll see how we go with it. Let's go straight into it. We've got Zeru... And I mean, until this explosion moment, just thinking this, as he's sort of floating about very contemplatively. It's so calm, so collected, and he's just having an absolutely fab time, bless him. And I'm happy for him to just have a nice time. This is only supposed to be, after all, a hard stage. And I forgot it was structured like this. Talk about a long time since last playing it. Okay, so we've been deaded by Zeruel. How are we gonna get back from such a terrible situation? I think occasional manica raises because stalling this guy is very easy at least at the moment and then we're gonna break out Ava 01 see what Shinji can bring to the party I am conscious of the fact that this is only a hard level and it really shouldn't be as difficult as I'm finding it but then again, wasn't that the case last time? It was a level that shouldn't have been that difficult, the very first of those barren stages, thank you Shinji, and yet it was still actually taking a long old while. But it's all complete now, so it's all fine and all good. This stage is done, and it's time to move on to the next one. Ah, this is what I remember, uh, a merciless stage. <laughs> I thought there wasn't like much to it. I thought it was one level. I just must have phased the hard level out of my mind and not phased out the more kind of painful experience. Oh well. Okay, so I shan't lie, this is probably a pretty bad strat. I can't remember what the special finicky rules were. I noticed that like the Ava ability wasn't even in the filter, which I like actually because it's collab specific and it would feel like it was littering the place otherwise, but that has left me at a loss of exactly where I stand abilities wise, but I've brought a justification with me. Plug Suit Mary is fantastic in most circumstances anyway. I kid you not, I was going to say all just as she died, so I had to quickly readapt my sentence. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen? I am ill prepared for having the monies that I need. But oh well, go forth and prosper, Ava 08. Wabam! I don't think Zero L's floating. Okay, I'm quite happy with this one here. Two defense up combos in the top row, which also enables me to use those tanky units that I believe will be useful here to get a little bit of chip damage in, yet not too expensive to be saddening when they die. So it'll enable me to get a little bit of money first off. I've still got Jiangxi, obviously, because that was actually possibly the only markedly successful part of my strategy before. Of course, surviving these kinds of lethal strikes is important. We've got Jizo for a Dark Doge, so that's all sorted out and lovely. I'm gonna send in a few more of these and I guess try and save up for Ava 0 I guess this is our initialization test. Let's find out if we can withstand the forces of 0L, at least for a little bit. Wait for the attack. Boom! In you go. Quick, quick, quick. Manica Razor. We don't need him advancing too much. Give it a bam. Uh, 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 that, that I was not expecting. I had a few eventualities lined up in my head to sort of slot in a bit of reactionary dialogue. Outcome one, hit is pulled off. Fantastic. Let's move on with the battle. Outcome two, Ava 0 is killed in action. I am the big sad. But outcome 3.33 has occurred here. You cannot do it. Asuka's tough. She goes through a whole load of shenanigans in the series, right? So we're going to test her out here, see if she can survive the shenanigans of this big old boy waving at us. Yeah, all right. Hi, Zero L. I get it. Go on. Go on, my son. Can you do it? Yeah. 
Oh, Asuka, honestly. Consolidating my thoughts. Zero L destroys absolutely everything in sight. I don't remember whether that was a facet of previously or if we could actually get something to survive it in one star. Because if this is a new development in difficulty terms, we've got problems in terms of actually succeeding here. Secondly, I'm gonna need to attack it, and to do that I probably need to stop it. So I've put Freeze Beam on, and got the sort of more rangy, quick attacking units. Avro 8, although it did die, attacks nice and quickly. So that's my thought in using that. And Nerve Moon, well, it's an outside shot and an excuse to use Nerve Moon. But then again, if I can't stall this, then it really doesn't matter if... Oh, wrong unit. <laughs> wrong unit! Oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear. Okay then, mark of my dedication, Rich Cat and Sniper the Cat. We're not messing about here. I thought it would take a lot longer than this to rifle through my energy, but you know what, it's fine. I'm gonna wait for the exact moment that Zero L pops out and then send out a swimmer to meet the floaty boy. And yes, at least Sniper the Cat works. I think it's got to work on everything, right? If you spend an item and a unit just ignores it, with the exception of them starred alien barriers, then you've got yourself quite an unreasonably annoying situation. I mean, this is kind of exhibiting properties of an unreasonably annoying situation, but at least we've got our Sniper Cat on hand. Right, you take your shot. Uh, and then, okay, well then you're gonna have to take another shot. Please don't already be on my base. And then, boom. No! You're too far away! Flip in, flop! Oh, it's alive! <gasps> Marry! Go on, my son! Yes! We got a single shot off! Ladies and gentlemen, the next fifth children. It's not me. It's not me. Alright. Okay. Go on then. Do your worst then at least it'll be over quickly. We've got Ray this time, our, our final candidate of our three plug suit super rares to be able to survive a hit. I don't think that was a hit, so that's not our test, but does that mean Ray is gonna get an attack in? No, no it doesn't. I thought I'd run out of ideas and then a thought surfaced that I was gonna implement into the strategy and then forgot. Seafarer Cat. This one 100% survives a lethal strike, just like Jiangxi. And hopefully, them two combined can therefore do better at stalling Zero Well. I mean, neither are well equipped to be doing damage to it, but heck, you know, if they can stay around, that's all good. I've also brought Row Cat because I feel like it would be remiss of me not to try. It's always feigned for having lots of the old health, so I might as well give it a go, seeing if it can survive a hit. Obviously, that was reduced by Dark Doges. That's going to be my optimistic take on it not surviving it. Right, okay, so maybe not for Row. I'm also not sure whether I've adequately put out enough of the islands, so I'm going to make sure to do that to actually check if they can survive or not, because then we might need to reform things again to accept that defense ain't going to help. Rich Cat again, because ladies and gentlemen, je suis care. Out you come, out you come, and let's have a look right up at your tassels. I only learnt that was the word for them today. I feel like I learnt that at a very opportune time, but I haven't learnt how to defeat them yet. Manic Mohawk seems like a sensible addition. They're always, almost always, stalling the forward march of... You know what? <laughs> the veracity of what I was saying was just getting chipped away as I was saying it, to a point where by the time I reached the end of the sentence, it was just false. <laughs> There's no two ways about that. That's just sad. I that hit Avro 8? Can you not? Zero L? Can you that does did, Thunderbolt doesn't work. It, that is not acceptable. That's not good. What is good though is that I'm managing to actually get a decent flow of these units. Oh, that might be about to go out the window. Zombie and Dark Doge. It's like floor 30 getting more complex all over again. But for a brief moment there, we had enough of a flow of stuff to keep this thing stalled. And hey, maybe if we're intelligent about this, we can make that continue to happen. I still haven't actually checked to see whether these islands can survive a hit or not. I guess it doesn't matter now, does it? Oh dear. I was going to sing Nothing Really Matters to me, but that's not even an Evangelion reference. Right, these items again because je suis care. I know that cannons sometimes miss, so I'm trying this again. Otherwise that would be a big old faux pas on my part being like, oh it doesn't work! 
fucking I, I just I can't aim. Let's be conservative with the monies. Think about this a little bit. And just try and stem the flow of Wavy Boy towards me. At least make the level last a little bit longer. Oh! 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 No, no, that didn't even stop Zero. That just stopped the exciting animation. That was just like death without the fun. Freeze! 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 No! Right, let's be conclusive about this. Do my boys survive a hit? Island does not. Manic Island, do you? You're a bit faster. You managed to hit, but you don't survive. But I don't know. It's cost effective, and I need the other one to be able to have the combo. But then the combo doesn't matter, does it? Uh, I'm not being sensible with the monies where I really should be. Make sure to get the fast units out after the attack, but don't send things into the wrath. And now three peons at once. That's problems. That's loss. There we go. There weren't many survive lethal strike units, but I'd probably say the standout of them is Cameraman Cat. A great unit regardless, and one that we can definitely use here because it's nice and cost effective. Then, a bit of a wild card, Togalan Pasalan, which isn't in its true form, which I think that yeah, there definitely is one. So this is a bit of an interesting choice for which I shall undoubtedly be flamed, having it in its non-golden form. But it survives one lethal strike, which is kind of all we need here. Just a little bit more damage to the thing and anything that survives keeps its place and stops Zero L marching on and it's already halfway towards my base, more than halfway towards my base. It moves forward even a little bit more and well that's basically it, so that's all good fun. It's good times around at Evangelion House. That sounds like a great block of flats though. Imagine the sort of shenanigans you get up to there. I expect this is a very, very poor use of items. I mean, even poorer than usual because I'm funneling it into a level that ends so miserably quickly, but there's no chance I can make any headway into this without putting Rich Cat on. And if I put Rich Cat on, I might as well put Sniper Cat on to increase my chances because that little bit of knockback is glorious and is so needed. And so I guess we're just going to have to see if a more capable version of the catastrophe that's just happened actually has any kind of positive impact on my chances here. My prediction? No. I'm gonna have to try and be expert with timing this here. I don't think that was particularly expert. I'm not even sure the Gabriel Doge got frozen there. Oh, it's a cruel world out there. Flipping it. That's soul destroying. You scumbag. Patience has run out. My propensity to use items has run out. This is a lost cause. I'm just doing it for entertainment, right? So let's give it the best shot and just call an end to it where an end needs to be called. Gonna upgrade my worker cat. Level four looks about as far as we can go. Let's send in swimmer to at least try and stop. No, it just continues forward anyway. I despair. I really do. That wasn't actually it, but it will be now. I consign myself to failure by resigning myself to failure. Although not that time actually, but definitely this time. So um, yeah, I think that's that's quite enough of that. All right, okay, we're back. Because in a stream that I did, I realized the fatal flaw that I've been carrying through with me for the entire recording previously. This is the you will find happiness combo. I mean, I really dislike this combo. The fact that you have to put this one combo in in order to get anywhere in a level is completely contradictory to the idea in Battle Cats that you can get to the end through using your own strategic means and nous, and that is the exciting part of it. No, you pigeonhole into a ridiculous XL combo, which, although full of two fantastic lads, is necessary to bring. And that's really not in the spirit of the game, and I think a bit lazy. But anyway, let's see what kind of resistance our units hold. Aver 08 is going to be our first candidate for victory. Zero L takes a shot. I think we might have had that perfectly timed, and at least we got a shot in. That's pretty good. Another shot is done, and Aver 08 survives. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is how we're going to make progress forward. That hit Aver 08, which is unfortunate. The fortunate part being that it's still alive. Will it not be anymore? No, it won't be anymore. Okay, right. Stalling in effect, then. Can we make the stalling work? Yes. Yes, we can! Gotta say, the sniper cat's doing a fantastic job, but we may have more difficulty in coming as a zombie burrows underground. Wait for another shot bring out some more things and well my capacity for things is now limited as is my capacity for yeah sodding everything basically still not halfway there 
So, this combo has made me think, well, let's retry our plug suit units. We've got Ray and we've got Asuka. Let's see how we do. Just trying to think about the timing of these Manic Mohawks. They do clump up together, but then I don't know if that's kind of made pointless by the arrival of the peons, where we'll need as much protection as we can get. But I guess it's a thought. A thought that is not keeping us any closer to the middle or the enemy end of the battlefield. Anyway, Ray, go on. Go on. Yes! There we go, survival. But not for very long. In fact, she was just taken out by a Dark Doge. Anyway, I brought Seafarer back along for its survivor lethal strike. <laughs> it instantly uses up, but oh well. At least that means it gets a hit on the Gabriel Doge. And that means absolutely nothing. I keep hitting my headphones in pure rage. This isn't going nearly as well as I thought it was, so I'm gonna leave off the items again because, heck, like, I'm not into losing them massively quickly, alright? It's a sort of debut type situation. Massive, big, girth, strong boy does lots of damage, like, and causes me problems. And it's too many problems to withstand. Obviously, I can't lure because he's got a massive range, so any principle that goes that way is out the window. So overall, it's it's just basically a lost cause. I guess I just started recording again because I thought, well, I haven't done a proper job, have I? If I haven't remembered this random combo that you need in order to even try the level. Okay, fine. But we bring it, and, well, I guess we still can't bring it. I now feel contented that I've tried the second star of 10th Angel Strikes. I'm not contented with how it went, but either way, I've tried it now, and that's it. Some four star antics to come, I should think. So until then, I bid you goodbye, and I hope you enjoyed.